Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. Hope you had a great weekend. I am uh, Paul Apollonia. Main source of uh, income here is eBay. I'm going to show you what I sold on eBay for last week, uh, January 18th to the 24th, 2021. I uh, had an okay week last week. Um, eBay is just about my full-time uh, gig. I do a few other things to bring us some extra money, headlight restoration and stuff like that. Uh, before I forget, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There it is right there. Not many subscribers, but I love and appreciate every single one of you. 555 is not much to many, but you guys mean the world to me. And I try my best to put videos up about eBay, um, being frugal, how to fix things around the house. I'm not a um, professional handyman or mechanic. I just uh, try and save some money. Um, I do a lot of uh, consignment on eBay, and I do a lot of parting out of uh, appliances and stuff like that. Um, and my average uh, sales range anywhere from uh, sometimes just about nothing to about $30, $35 in that from about, so about nothing to about $35 in my sweet spot. I do get those gems of $100, $200, $300 sales. Those are far and few between. Um, and that's about it. So let's get this uh, show on a rose, like to say. Coming to you from downstairs today. I just didn't feel like going upstairs. <laughs> so if you hear dogs barking, that is why. Um, get this silly thing out of here. Like I said, we didn't sell too many things. This is a selection of stuff that I sold. Um, sold a lot of cigar boxes and uh, a few of the water pick things I normally sell. And I'm not going to show you all the cigar boxes. I'm going to show you one and tell you what I made off of all the cigar boxes. Uh, this is a part that I got from a dishwasher off of Craigslist. I have Craigslist email alerts, which basically is, I have a video on, on how to do that on my YouTube channel. You basically set up an email, um, you go into Craigslist, you create a search, and you um, set up an email alert right there if you do your search, and it will send you um, an email whenever anything is available you're looking for, dishwashers, whatever you're looking for. Um, it's great. It, it works out really good. It used to be really, really like spontaneous back in the day. Like you would, um, somebody would list something and it would pop up right away. Uh, it's taking a while and sometimes you'll, you won't get the item because somebody else has already grabbed it. But it is a great way to keep uh, track of what is uh, available on Craigslist. So I got this dishwasher. Actually, I did something different with this. I'm actually creating a course on how to, part of the dishwasher. I'm still editing it. Sorry, it's taking me forever. Um, I took the tools with me and I picked up the dishwasher since the dishwasher was about five minutes away from the dump and I parted out this dishwasher in a parking lot, a shopping center parking lot, which uh, worked out good because I have to take it home and bring it back to the dump. I took this out, the racks, the, um, the silverware, baskets, whatever you want to call them, and what else did I take out of it? Uh, the soap, the soap uh, dispenser thing out of the door. No soap dispensers are selling like hotcakes. I'll list them and they'll sell within an hour. So um, that's good. So this part here, it was kind of broken. The plastic piece that attaches or, or it holds on to the dishwasher, the back was kind of sort of hanging on there. I'm trying to show you a picture, but I don't know if I have any pictures of it. There it is. Right there, do you see that? Ay, ay, ay. Right there, that uh, that is broken. That holds that holds the back of the control board onto the door inside the door, and it was broken. And I was very upfront on my listing. Let me make this smaller. You don't need to see my ugly mug um, that big. Um, one of the back clips is broken. I removed the board, so you could basically take the board and put it into your. Um, case of the uh, dishwasher. There is money in these boards. Uh, I do not test these boards out. I have sold ones that are bad um, and I do an immediate refund. I don't even ask any questions. I don't want it back. I just do an immediate refund. Most of them have been good. I'd probably say maybe five or six out of all the years I've been selling these were bad. And I, like I said, I don't even mess around with it. You know, if they're taking me over, if they're playing with me, I don't have time. That's fine. Just refund them and move on. I normally don't do free shipping. 
but I did this time because most of them had free shipping that were selling. So make sure you're doing free shipping. You are adding that shipping cost uh, into your um, total of what you want for the item. Again, I paid nothing for this item and I probably made $45 on this, maybe 44. Total time I spent parting out the dishwasher, maybe an hour, maybe 40 minutes, I'm thinking. I really didn't keep track of the time on this one. All my pictures are done on my phone. Uh, title is uh, keyword related. Don't worry about your grammar. Make sure you're using all the item specifics when you're doing your listings. When you're creating one and there's a pull down, try and pick something out of that pull down. Google the item, Google the part number, whatever you're looking for, the whatever item you're trying to sell. A lot of information out there on Google you can get. Sometimes you can even pull the UPC number off of Google if you uh, put your uh, what you're looking for in UPC at the end. Just verify that it's the right uh, UPC by doing a search on the UPC. Uh, my my uh, description is short and sweet. I am very clear that uh, you're buying a used part and make sure that it fits your appliance. I'm not responsible for the part not fitting. Uh, remotes sell very well. I don't know why this ad keeps on popping up. I keep on saying, don't show me, keep on showing it to me. Remotes do sell very well. They are not big dollar items. Uh, I don't pay any more than a dollar for a remote. Most of the time people just give them to me and you'll make probably about six or seven dollars on them. Uh, the more buttons, the better on a remote. And, the more, and, and believe it or not, the more obscure sometimes. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. And the more obscure the remote, the, uh, the better. Um, how do I, I usually have a picture of the remote uh, showing its functioning. I just take a picture. I press a button and take a picture of my phone and you'll see it in your phone when you take a picture. I always put that in there to make sure that people know that it works. And I always take a picture of the battery compartment. Even if the battery compartment has uh, battery acid in it, it's pretty easy to clean up today. Battery acid isn't like it used to be, where it really, really destroys stuff. Uh, some baking soda, maybe some uh, vinegar um, will uh, clean that up pretty good. All right, let's go to the next item. I didn't make like, like I said, I didn't make much money, maybe six bucks off this went out first class. Uh, cigar boxes, I have sold a total of not this type of cigar box. Whoops. I have sold a total of four or five cigar boxes and I've made a total earnings of $43 profit off of five cigar boxes. I get these for free from the wine and cigar store. Some places charge for cigar boxes. I would not pay any more than a dollar for a cigar box. These are not high dollar items. Um, I grab them. I love getting free stuff. Grab it. Take it home, list it. Usually I have a listing already out there or something I've already sold in my, in my uh, solds and I just do a sell similar and I relist it and I take new pictures. I never really use the old pictures because I want to make sure people know what they're buying. Um, I average about 5 to uh, $8 on each box. One gentleman asked me if I could send a priority and he was willing to pay for priority. I have no idea because first class is about gets their fastest priority anymore. Um, and he paid for priority. I made $12 on that box. So I made a total of $43 profit from cigar boxes. Um, like I said, don't pay any more than a dollar for a cigar box. They're really, there's not a whole lot of profit in them, but there is uh, money. Again, it's a low dollar sale and I'm totally fine with that. Another consignment item. Uh, this is from a person that I met with a couple months ago. She gave me a few of these things to sell. These are slow, long tail sales, which means they take a while to sell. Not a big dollar consignment item. I do not normally take things this low as just a few things somebody gives me, but we were talking and everything she showed me was just a dud. A lot of... Um, China and stuff she had, and it's just, it just was not selling for anything. She was like, I got these, and I, all right, here, let me have those. So I, I sold three of these already. I've got one more, I think, left. Um, so like I said, normally I don't do this that 
items to slow. I make half of that 50% up to the first hundred dollars and it goes down from there 40, 30 as the value goes up on the item. I always try and charge shipping on consignment items because my matrix, um, it just messes with my matrix when I do free shipping. Again, all done with my phone. Um, I try and take as many pictures as I can. I try and take as like 12, but it's hard to take 12 of some items. Again, description is very short and sweet using all the, uh, as many as I can of the uh, item specifics. And again, not a big dollar sale, but hey, it was good. It was a sale. A sale is a sale. Uh, again, this is what I call a replenishable item. I think it's very, very, very important for everybody to have some kind of replenishable item in their eBay store or in their eBay account. Again, I say this every week, and I'm sorry if you're listening to my videos over and over again. I don't know if anybody new is listening, but you want to get something. You want to go to like a big box store, let's say like a Lowe's or a Home Depot, and find something that is there all the time. Um, it's always there at the store, so you know you should go back and get a couple. You don't need to buy a pallet. You don't need to buy cases. Just buy 10 of an item, bring them home, list them, quantity of 10. And when you get down to a certain what they call par level, let's say it's three or four, go out and buy a couple more, bring them home, up your quantity. You're not going to make a lot of money off of replenishables sometimes. It's just activity in your store. It's what you're looking for. You're looking for activity. The more activity you have, the better for your store, the better for your account, and eBay will pump you up in searches. Uh, this is a Dollar Tree item. I paid $1.07 for this. This is the last calendar I've sold. I probably sold about 50 of these this year just on eBay. I did extremely well a couple of years ago on Amazon with these. I made probably $700 on my pocket in two weeks. But then the market got saturated on, on Amazon, and it's just, it just wasn't worth it for me to mess with Amazon. Um, so I make about three twenty-five on these three, three dollars, three twenty-five, three thirty-five. Not a big ticket sale. I put them in a padded flat, uh, flat rate envelope. I put them in a little padded envelope. Goes uh, first class, um, four ounces, but it's two two seventy-five or something for shipping. So I make about three three twenty-five on these. I need to find another replenishable because obviously the calendar season is done. Well, believe it or not. If I had more, I would just keep on listing them because when I was on Amazon, people were buying calendars until uh, <clears throat> May and June, but I wasn't selling many after January. Uh, next item, we don't have too many items listed here because I'm not showing you dupes of a million items like I normally do. <laughs> Sold uh, two of these this week, uh, not a big dollar sale. Oh, three of these, I'm sorry. I sold a, a silver color one, not a white one too. For a total in my pocket, I, this is another consignment item from the water pick salesman that I told you about. Um, always make friends with your competitors if your competitors are willing to be friendly with you. I got this client from another consigning guy out in Pittsburgh, Trader Chris is his company name. And he does high-end estate stuff and jewelry and crystal and I don't do that kind of stuff. So he knows I do the other stuff and he referred me to this gentleman and it's been a great relationship. I just send him money every week through Vimo, and he's happy. Um, I made $15 off of these. Not a big dollar sale, but he has tons and tons and tons of stuff. Uh, one time I sold something for $200. One time I sold an old Hunter fan in a box from 1993, unopened, for $85. So, you know, I don't mind doing consignment on little, on, on low-end stuff like this, as long as it it sells. If it sits there, no, no, I'll pass on that. A couple more items left. Another consignment item from a uh, woman uh, that's uh, trying to clear out her parents' house. Her parents passed away. I met this woman through an organizer. Organizers are also great contacts for anybody selling on eBay, even if you're not doing consignment. You could go in and buy things off of these people. Um, but I got this to an organizer, this, this client. Um, I've sold a lot of things for her, tons of vintage stereo equipment, made lots of money off of her. Um, also, she had a ton of little things, like the little engaged trains I showed you like last week or week before, making 4 or $5 sales on those. That's fine. If I can turn around and make a couple hundred bucks off of one item, I don't have a problem doing that as long as it's quick list, quick ship. Um, this was not really a quick ship. What I actually did, I used uh, 
the small Lowe's uh, home improvement heavy duty boxes, two of them, put one down. I actually used uh, cushioning that, <laughs> that I had from outside of dishwashers. I always save everything I can. I don't buy packing material or rarely or ever buy boxes. I saved all this cushioning from, you know, the wrap, the insulation wrap around the dishwasher, folded that, wrapped one speaker in plastic, put that speaker in there, put more of that cushioning from the dishwashers. It was clean, the wrap. It wasn't dirty. Um, wrap the next speaker in plastic, put that one, put more cushioning in and then telescoped another box on top. I have a video of where I'm telescoping boxes where I'm shipping a vacuum cleaner. Tape the living heck out of the box. When you have the split, you know, where you telescope it and the flaps are sticking out, make sure you have two or three widths of two inch tape on there. I think FedEx can be real picky with that. They want the four inches of tape around those things. Make sure you tape it all up real good. And it was gone. I went to Pittsburgh. Guy got it within two days, and I haven't heard a word back. And that was the beginning of last week that he got it. Again, I made half of that 20, what, 20, 24, 20, whatever it is, $24.99. And uh, shipping was 18 $21. No, I do not refund on shipping. Um, I do my best um, to price my shipping as close as I can. Or not on this one, obviously, but, um, you know, uh, you see the price. Takes my time to pack it. I had to buy those two Lowe's boxes, which are $1.45 a piece, I think. So that's $3 plus my time to pack it. My expertise in packing. Um, so... Sometimes I make money, sometimes I lose a little money, sometimes I make a lot of money, sometimes I lose a lot of money on shipping. <clears throat> but I have no problem not refunding. If somebody asks me for combined shipping, I will do it. Um, but uh, I don't really, if somebody gives me a problem with shipping, we may have a little problem there. Um, here is the water pick I've sold. Greetings this week. This was a funny one. This came in like a little gift set originally. Came with this inside a little metal wire rack thing you, uh, you hang in your shower with a poofy ball. And I can sell these things worth a darn for $24.99 with the little kit and everything. Just couldn't sell them at all. So I thought, let me just sell the... Uh, the shower head, and I've sold probably six or seven of these already. Again, this is a consignment item, half of this. I, I get half of that, plus whatever I make on shipping. Shipping is very close to $9.99. Usually comes out at about $9.50 to ship this. Sometimes a little more. I just paid $11 to ship it to somebody. So it all comes out in the end with the shipping. Uh, I get my stuff out in one day. Um, and I pack it very well, and I've never really had any problems with people questioning uh, how, you know, I mean, oh, I didn't get it fast enough, or oh, it wasn't packed good enough. Rarely have I ever not packed something properly. Um, so I've sold three of these. I meant to write that down, and I forgot. I just remembered now, so I made decent money on that. Uh, this, an example of uh, an item I listed Saturday afternoon. And sold within an hour. Um, free shipping. It went out first class right at 15 ounces. Remember, if you do your shipping through eBay, first class goes up to 15 ounces to a pound. If you take that same item to the post office, it only goes up to 13 ounces. So please, please, please do all your shipping through eBay. We all run our businesses differently. For the life of me, I can't figure out why people don't want to ship through eBay. They want to take their stuff to the post office. I train many students, and they're just heck bent on taking their stuff to the post office. I don't know why. It's so much easier to sit at home, print out your label, even if you got to print it out on a printer, that you got to tape the physical label onto the box with clear tape instead of green. It's still got to be easier. You're saving money. Do your shipping through eBay. So um, did pretty good on this. Made probably about $24.99, maybe $26.99 on this. Use all the item, item specifics, like I said. Look up all the different part numbers are out there out in Google land. Again, my video on parting out dishwasher shows you all how to do this. I am working feverishly on getting that done for you guys. Uh, this I paid $13 for. I did take a little bit of a beating on this. This went out to Los Angeles. Actually, it's in my van 
now. I packed it yesterday, um, collapsed it down to 30, what is it, 39 inches or whatever. And I took two big boxes. I double boxes. I didn't feel like going to the store and get a heavy duty box. Wrapping this in one box and then wrapping it in another box and taping the living heck out of the box. It took me a while. I'm having uh, my knee feels much better. The past couple of days is getting better as the time goes on. I had a gel shot done on my knee. My knee was hurting yesterday trying to deal with this, but we got it done. Um, and shipping was $32 to Los Angeles via FedEx. So I did not make much of my money on this. Made $11 on this. It cost me $13 to the thrift store. It was beat up. I clearly stated that. Please read. Right there, there are some heavy scratches. As you can see, I take all pictures. Please refer to the pictures. Same here. Look at the pictures. Uh, here's our last item. So like I said, I took a beating on this. I sold one other one. I did really well on. I probably made uh, 30 about, well, I the other one I had for 50, 50 plus dollars because it was in really, 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 really nice shape. Almost like new. This one is obviously beat up. Um, I'm hoping this is not going to be an issue. Sometimes people don't read. And I'll be quite honest with you, if it is an issue, I really don't want to pay to get it back. I'll just say you can keep it. So um, it's just not worth it for me to, um, to do that. So see, I did lose money on this shipping here. Shipping did cost me $33. I probably should have done this calculated shipping, FedEx, because the post office would have been a killer on this no matter where it went because it's so big. It was light. It was 13, 14 pounds, um, boxed up and everything. Last item, another one of these. I listed this last night. This is using the eBay uh, option of whiting out the back, whiting out, whatever they call it, the back, um, the background. I uh, created a listing on my on my on my Chromebook here. I use a Chromebook, and um, I uploaded the pictures via my phone. It's easier for me to do a computer and then phone upload the pictures. And there's an option uh, that will white out the background. That's if I'm saying that right. And I took that option and it looks pretty darn good, to be honest with you. It's another dispenser. This sold within an hour or two. I wish I had more of these dispensers. I will have to look at my garage and see if I have any more of these. I don't know why they're selling so fast like this, but they uh, but they do sell pretty good. Again, this is off of another dishwasher I paid nothing for. I, I, I charged them what, what they were going for on eBay. Sometimes I put my prices a little higher than what they're going for. You'd be surprised what you can sell them for even higher. Well, believe it or not, that was it for last week. Not a whole ton of sales, but hey, I'm happy. I do this more for the freedom. Came from the corporate world, left that in 2004, started another business that didn't go real well. Ended that in 2010 and just picked up eBay then. And I love it. Like I said, I do this more for the freedom. Uh, yeah, we all want to make more money, but I, I really love the freedom this gives me. Um, just, uh, you know, it allows me to do a lot of different things. My kids are a lot older now, which is great. So I don't have to worry about <laughs> running around with them with school and everything. So, hey, check out all the comment or check out my uh, comments below. I've got the link to the uh, eBay class. It's an older class. Martin Brossman and I did it a couple years ago, but it's very evergreen, which means it's still current today. Um, a lot of great tips in there, and I'm pretty sure the key is still working for a dollar. If it's not, please let me know. I will check that when I get done this video. Sometimes the software works. Sometimes it doesn't. It's not. It, that's out of my control. It's very aggravating for me because I'm trying to give you guys something, <laughs> and I can't. Uh, check out all the other stuff, too. Please subscribe to my channel again, like I said. And uh, I'm going to try and get some more videos up this week. It was pretty crazy last week. Like I said, I had my... Found out a friend of mine died from COVID and his mother died. It, 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 it was just a mess. And my knee was a mess. It was just a lot of stuff going on. I'm pretty much an open book. <laughs> All right, my friends, you guys have a great day. Uh, stay warm. It's raining out there today. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.